Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to update the network adapter, the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet adapter. And this will be a complete solution. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to update your network adapter. If you have any kind of internet or network issues, unable to use the internet, this will be very helpful. You don't have to watch any other video to update the drivers. And it will work on Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11. So here in the start, I can just do a right click and then go to device manager. So I'll tell you all the ways to update the drivers. Now, once the device manager is opened, look for network adapters. So I just have found it below monitor. I'll click on that. And here I have many options. The only thing which we are looking for is something which is related to wireless or ethernet or internet so if you have a wired connection look for ethernet and if you have a wireless look for the wireless one so i have found it here the intel wireless ac 950 160 megahertz so i'll just do a right click and i'll go to properties now the very first thing which we need to do here is to check the driver date and we will just go to the driver tab and i can see the driver the driver version is on 29th of june and the version is right here so in if in your case if you see a very older date like 2016 17 18 that means you have to update the driver so here we will click on update driver and search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver for your device are already installed not a problem we'll close this and we will do in a different manner we were not able to update through this one but we will click on this again and this time we will select browse my computer for drivers and here we will select let me pick from a list available now if your wi-fi or ethernet was working fine earlier and you don't know what exactly happened due to drivers and suddenly your internet is not working in that case you can have all the drivers here so my recommendation would be one check all the drivers one by one so i can see the top one is here and i can select this one as well so i'll go with the bottom one and i'll click on next and then i'll try to restart the computer and see if my if your wi-fi is working fine or not if it's not then select the top top one and if you have no matter if you have how many drivers if you have three four drivers try all one by one so in this manner you will get a correct driver a compatible driver for your wi-fi or the ethernet if your internet is not working so that's the best way to get your driver back which was working fine earlier once you have done that i'll click on i'll just click on cancel so by trying both the ways if by trying both the ways like updating and uh, looking for previous drivers didn't work then i would recommend to close this and before closing it you need to take this number please make sure you have noted down somewhere that um, whatever the driver name whatever the network adapter name is here so i can see i have intel wireless so i'll open the browser any browser which you use and i'll just minimize so that we can look it and here i'll type intel wireless ac 9560 driver download now you need to do the same thing as i'm doing it now i can see intel.com intel wireless 9560 downloads so i can click on that so it's a official website of intel and here i can download you can see the date so i'm using the older version remember i was using june 29 june 2021 and now we have got the latest driver which is first of jan 2022 so i can install this and i can install this one as well that is also a latest driver so from here you can click on view details and we can download the driver so 
I can see I have Windows 10 and Windows 11. So from here, I'll just simply click on download or 64 bit and I'll accept it. And I'm able to download the driver, the latest driver successfully. Now, if in your case, if you're unable to update it, then my recommendation would be to take the model number, which will be real uh, of the laptop if you're using Dell, HP, uh, Lenovo, any, any version. So you can take the model number and go to the manufacturer's website. Like if you're using Dell, then go to dell.com like this. And from there, you can go to services and try to download like Dell driver download like this. So here I can select drivers and download and you can mention the service tag. And, and from here you can download according to your model number. Same goes with HP as well, HP driver download. I'll type HP driver download and I'll hit enter. And I see software and drivers support.hp.com. So I'll click on that. And from here, I can download the drivers. Let me just maximize it. So from here, if you're using a laptop, you can select laptop and you can mention the serial number which you will find it at the back of your laptop or a desktop and mention it and you will get all the important drivers to download from the manufacturer website same goes with lenovo lenovo driver download and hit enter you will get the support.lenovo.com so this is the best way to download the drivers because you are going directly to the manufacturer's website and trying to download. So here you can select <clears throat> PC. You can also use the detect auto detect product. So you can click on that. And if you're using a Lenovo PC, this will automatically check which model of computer you're using and you can download the drivers. So in this manner, you can download the drivers, no matter even if you have any kind of drivers, uh, sound drivers, graphics, or internet network adapters. In the same manner, you can download all drivers for your laptop or a desktop. I hope this video is very helpful for you. Please hit the like and subscribe. And please let me know in the comment section if it has helped you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.